Now, speaking of knowledge, it took uh, a kid 5.25 seconds to figure out how to do a Rubik's Cube. That way, we reported on that yesterday. And that kind of inspired us to bring to uh, the four mobile games that could help you work your brain a little bit. So we got G Funk Delicious! Shots, shots, shots. Yes, that, that wasn't such a great shake. <laughs> no, 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 because I'm supposed to just hold my hand. You're supposed to make the cataclysmic snap. Oh, I was supposed to make it. Okay, anyway, cool. okay, cool. Well, so I'm very excited about this because I've been looking for new games. I'm playing too much Clash of Clans on my phone. Well, yeah, okay, you need to stop Clash of Clans. It's a great game. Uh, people have a lot of fun playing that. But mm -hmm. we want to get into puzzle games. Yeah, we want to work job. our minds. We want to massage the mental matter <laughs> inside right. our brains. That's some alliteration. And, like, you can use a Rubik's Cube. It's a great thing, and you can do all kinds of puzzles. But let's do it digitally. Okay, cool. So what do you have for us? So the first game I want to talk about is called Monument Valley. It won a couple of awards last year. It is absolutely beautiful. Do you know who Escher is? Escher? Yeah. He, As an Escher Kutcher? The, no, <laughs> Escher the artist. Oh, no, I don't. So Escher does these incredible paintings where things lead up to things. So he plays with perspective, stairs lead up and join up. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you move the environment, it looks like you're going around in circles. It's, it's basically like a trick for your eyes. Wow, okay. So Monument Valley does a very similar thing. What it does is it takes the level yeah. and you spin the level yeah. so that you can work around. So like it's actually a visual illusion okay. and solve, right. solving certain kinds of puzzles. It's difficult to explain. Okay. It's well, something you need to we, do when you when you when you actually physically play it to, to actually blow your mind. Because once you solve because once you solve a puzzle with, with this method, <laughs> yeah, you just go like I'm so smart, man. <laughs> you feel like an absolute boss. Alright, cool. So we're getting some visuals there. So that's called Monument Valley, right? Monument Valley. You've got to go check it out. Alright, what else? The next one is called Threes. Threes. Now a lot of people play uh, games like Dots. Or, or or Sudoku, and it's I suppose Noughts and crosses. Noughts and crosses. It's a similar kind of thinking, okay. right? The idea behind the game is very simple. You've got a, a grid of numbers, and all those numbers must add up to three, and in uh, multiples of three. So I am now doing the puzzle right now. I've got like two, one, two. I've got to make sure that. Uh, that my numbers join up. So I've got six. Six and six will join, so that will be equals 12. And I've got to be able to do this and clear the board. Wait, so, so three, three and three equals six. Oh, so they've got to really add addictive. to multiples of three, right? Yes, multiples six of and three. Six is 12, so here, here's a great one. I can go three and three. That equals six. Six and six. Twelve. Boom is twenty-four. Can son. you believe it? That, that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Now you were stuck there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll work. The, I'll work this one out a little bit later. But it's it's a lot. It's a lot of fun wow. to play, and it really works your maths your math skills yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, in a very deceptive way, because it doesn't feel like you're doing math. Exactly, I generally yeah. I struggle with math, and I sit playing this for hours and yeah. just like improving my math. And, and just like your your brain synapse is just connecting very quickly when it comes to that kind of thinking, logical thinking. Yeah. All right. Totally. And then so a little bit a little bit less mathy uh -huh. and a little bit more more brightly colored and with sweets. <laughs> Matthew. Uh, <laughs> Matthew is, is that cool. even a word? Um, <laughs> it's called Candy Crush Saga. I know a lot of people are playing Candy Crush Guy. right now. <laughs> the <laughs> amount of invites I've gotten on Facebook to play Candy Crush, I can't. Eh? I it's can't. actually, it's very cool. As you can see behind me right <laughs> here, it's it's about joining up different kinds of sweets. So they've, it, they replace numbers with sweets, essentially. Yes. And you've got to recognize those sweets and join them up and try to get as many as you can. There are like in-app purchases. This is free to download. Uh -huh. uh, you might I want to get really involved in it, yeah. but it's really it's really simple and really quick to use and get into. So I, I recommend starting out with Candy Crush, moving on to something like Threes, and then when you're really cool, get into some Monument Valley. All right, cool. Well, I, I, I'm more encouraging of uh, the fact that our kids out there should be eating more vegetables. So don't Candy Crush, you must veggie smash. Then just <laughs> make a game called that. Dog, thank you very much. Always good to have you. Yes, please. All right, so I, I wonder, you and what game will you be trying out of these three?